Hello again. Welcome back to my kitchen. And I'm going to do, I hope, a quick little video. I went out to my little garden and picked some yellow squash and I needed to cook it. I had about five squash. So I'm just going to do like I make a side dish um, out of the squash. And what I do first, I've sauteed one whole onion. And I just let it get kind of starting to caramelize, but not completely uh, dark brown. I just want it to have that little bit of flavor. And then I add my, um, my yellow squash in, and I've got it all cut in about quarter inch little slices. And I'm gonna put that in the skillet. And then I'm just going to kind of stir it around a little bit till it um, starts to smother down a little bit. Now I like to add either um, chicken broth or a little bit of chicken bouillon. Uh, to the water that I put in there. So let me find my bouillon. You know, I told you I like the better than bouillon. So I'm going to put a little dab of that, not a whole lot, just about a teaspoon. And I'll put about one cup of water in it. Maybe I'll get my water and kind of dissolve that before I add it because I want it to be dissolved when it goes in there. Okay, let me get it in here. See if it'll dissolve for me a little bit. I don't like a lot of water in it, but I like enough water to kind of um, have, have something for it to steam in. Then I'm going to add some onion and garlic powder to this. Even though I've got onion in it, I want, I want some onion powder because that just adds extra flavor. So I'm going to put about two teaspoons of onion powder. And I'm going to put about a half of one teaspoon of garlic. Now I'll go ahead and add that to my broth so it'll kind of be, sometimes if you don't, it kind of burns on the bottom if it doesn't have enough liquid in there. Okay, so I'm going to add this to the squash. That didn't all dissolve, but it'll dissolve in the heat. I'm going to put a few turns of black pepper in it. And I'm going to sprinkle about a half of a teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt on it. And I'm just going to let it uh, cook down some. Let me see if this lid will fit, and it will. I'll just put a lid on it and let it cook, and I'll bring y'all back when it gets finished. Just summer squash for a side dish. <clears throat> Okay, I wanted to bring you back and show you the finished product and see most of the liquid has cooked out of it. The squash is tender and it is delicious. Now, my favorite thing to do is to cook it a little bit more till some of it starts kind of sticking on the bottom and it gets kind of caramel and brown, but everybody doesn't like it like that. So you can either cook it to this point till it's just your squash is tender when you like cut it with a fork and some of your juice has reduced or you can cook it a little bit more and have it just caramelized looking and delicious on the bottom. Okay, that's just a quick and easy side dish that you can uh, have. Actually, I have some barbecue that I'm going to um, warm up some brisket for our meat and we're going to have some brisket and the coleslaw that I made that on the video and we're gonna have some squash as a side dish and I'll probably come up with one more something but uh, I'm just gonna try to share some of the everyday things that I cook that make a meal 
good and good country vegetables are just hard to beat. Y'all have a good day and stay tuned because we'll have some more good stuff coming up. And be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified when I make new videos. I need you to share my links where my channel will grow and I'll have a little bit more liberty with, with the thumbnails that I post uh, about each recipe as I get more subscribers. They kind of have rules you have to go by. So the more subscribers I get, the better the channel is going to be. So please share it and uh, come back and, and look at everything and give me some comments if you try the recipes and let me know what you think about them. Y'all have a blessed day.